how does it feel to be back in Xiaomi? Always great. I keep coming every year. This is the third year in succession I am here. I always look forward to opportunities to be here. It makes me feel young once again. <laughs> so how was Xiaomi life? Which committees you were affiliated to also? See, again, I was part of the placement committee again when I was studying and even in first year when we had the summer internships, I was the coordinator, one of the coordinators for that. So that was something which really excited me. It gave me an opportunity to interact with a lot of organizations one year before being part of the actual rigmarole of being part of the placement. There must be one skill which you must have learned outside the classroom uh, teachings which would have helped you in your professional life. So can you uh, give yeah, us a think on that? Yeah, I think two takeaways. I think prior to joining XIMB, whatever academics I worked in, it was purely as an individual. You either did well or did not do well. I think the biggest takeaway was try learning to work in groups where you actually work with people with different capabilities, different outlooks, different views of life, which was something very different because till then you always studied whether it was science or engineering, anything, you studied with people who exactly had the same academic background as yourself. So I think that was probably one of the biggest learning and even in Microsoft today we talk about diversity and inclusion where we have people of all age groups all preferences, everything. So it's so different if you look at the kind of people you work with. So in that context, it's something which I learned here. I think the other thing and on a lighter way is learning to meet the exacting deadlines and managing to just in time submit assignments. I think that is something which you keep doing it again and again in life. And every time in corporate when you struggle to meet a deadline and you just manage to close something out in time, you realize you learned that skill many years back. What does it take to be a champion? A couple of things. Obviously, the first aspect which is a non, which is a no-brainer is hard work. Obviously, everyone needs to work hard. The other is, I think, it's the ability to bet on something, what you call placing your bets. When you work in sales or business or any such role which I am associated with, you would have at the same time two, three things which would be moving on a parallel track. So you need to identify which of those activities you feel would be a winner and place your bet, work hard and then pray to God that it happens. So how important do you think are these uh, conclaves, leadership talks for facilitating the knowledge transfer between the industry leaders and the students? I think it's highly useful because one of the biggest things which I learned after passing out for, from campus, in our times we did not have so many knowledge transfer uh, situations exactly. happening at that point of time. It was very academic. Except the summer placement where you got to interact with industry, there weren't that many opportunities. And I think that is what the biggest learning for me when I joined industry is that the actual work is so different from what you read in textbooks. I think the for you to be, uh, even at the first step, the placement itself, the kind of outlook that you need to portray to the organization that would interview you, they would be very impressed if you could have some knowledge of the way industry works, show that insight, has, you can leverage on the interactions you have had, you can refer to those examples when you speak during the interviews. I think that holds a lot of weight other than the academic knowledge that you obviously learn in these two years. So, uh, how important do you think the case study help mold a student for the professional life? See, I think the case study method which most MBA schools adopt and I think XM does it pretty well. Yeah. I think that is the, I would say the backbone of the learning process that you have. Because everything in industry, every day you go out to work, you are placed into three or four situations where it seems like you are actually doing a case study. The knowledge comes secondary because when you actually get to solving those tasks, you do leverage your knowledge and your understanding of what you studied in two years. But I think the ability to solve problems, that is something you inculcate only when you do a lot of case studies. So to that extent, it's really helpful. What aspect of XIMB so you would like to change, whether it be educational or non-educational? I think things have improved only over the years. I think where uh, I see is since the number of students is very large compared to the time when we were there, where we had only 120 mm -hmm. students. So the kind of face time you get with the profs, the interactions that you have, I am not sure whether it is as detailed as it was in my time. So that would probably be one area where Obviously, with technology being there, video conferencing, everything being there, Skype being there, I think 
distances and the number of the audience, even if it's very large, probably the the faculty can still manage to give that much of face time to the students. But probably seeing the number of students being so huge, that is something which comes to mind. Is there anything you would like to suggest us for increasing the alumni engagement? I think alumni engagement, you are in the right direction. Probably, I think there is, it's never enough actually, if you ask me. You should keep thinking of ways to engage them. Obviously, I think alumni all over would really love to come back to campus. And if you look at the people typically passing out of a batch, there are people in finance, there are people in marketing, within marketing and sales. There are so many sub-functions like, uh, let's say, institutional sales is very different from B2C kind of sales. So what I can think of is, even in your academics, if you can build in some kind of uh, in your curriculum, let's say you are doing industrial marketing, probably at least a couple of lectures can be from people from industry, pull them in. Even if it's for only one hour, that one hour will give you a lot of perspective.